Hello everyone. Hi, welcome back to our channel. Home is where our heart is. My name is Dane. And I'm Steli. And we're the proud authors of the book Knowledge to Forage. Today we're going to teach you how to bake some wild garlic freshly baked bread. And we're going to teach you how to make some wild garlic soup. Yep, yeah, we're going to teach you how to bake some fresh garlic bread and some delicious garlic soup to dip it in. So come with us. I'll we'll show you how to make it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is head out and forage for some wild garlic, just like we have here. Now wild garlic loves to grow near a water source. You see we have a river, that's where wild garlic loves to grow. To identify it, it's super simple. It's just a long leaf with a pointed tip. And when you look very closely, it has lots of lines running vertically up it. And when you crush it, ah, it smells of delicious garlic. Now, wild garlic can grow next to some poisonous plants. And if you want to learn more about wild garlic, such as, as its nutritional and medicinal properties, as well as its folklore and mythology too, then make sure to check out our How to Forage Wild Garlic video. But for now, we're just going to grab some of this and take it home and make some food. <gasps> garlic, smells so good. Make sure to collect your wild garlic from an abundant source, everybody. We've got this long bank of wild garlic here. We're super lucky to have so much around. We're going to collect 30 leaves for our bread and 30 leaves for our soup. Ah, so we've got our wild garlic. <laughs> and we're going to go home and we're going to make some nice warm bread and some nice warm soup because oh, it's freezing! Yeah. <laughs> so it's late winter here today Yep. <laughs> and the river's burst its bank so to get here we didn't get to frolic in the sunshine nope. we actually have to walk through knee deep freezing cold water yeah it's been an adventure we weren't going to show you this but we've had to come back the way we came and this is where we've got to go through next yeah. all this river water it's so, good for you um, yeah it's gonna be beautiful it's, it's gonna be revitalizing yeah. there we go <laughs> it's good for you Stelly yeah it's nice I like it <laughs> I'm not used to it in the mud bog <laughs> what you gotta do to warm yourself up yeah. Some wild garlic. Okay. Fire in my mouth. Ice around my feet. Oh. Okay. Off we go. Off we go. So we're back home in the warm. And we're nice hot chocolate. We hot chocolates. That was a cold adventure. It was a bit, yep. And now it's time for us to have some lovely warm and bread and soup. So for this recipe, we're going to make the bread recipe first. We will need our lovely wild garlic that we've gone and caught, a sachet of yeast, seven grams, some salt, some flour, the nicest flour you can find, we're using organic spelt wholemeal flour, a bit of olive oil, some sugar and a bit of water. Step one, measure out two mugs of flour into your mixing bowl. <laughs> two add one sachet or seven grams of yeast add one teaspoon of sugar mix it all up add 350 mils of lukewarm tepid water Add one teaspoon of salt. You may notice that our salt is green. That's because we made herbal salt last year and it's still going. And you can find the recipe in our book. One tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, we're gonna mix it up. Chop your garlic. Add your garlic. 
to the mix. Yum, yum, yum. And now we're going to knead the dough for a hundred presses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just going to pop on a tablecloth and leave this to rise for one hour. Whilst we're waiting for our bread to rise, we're going to make a quick and easy soup. For this soup recipe, all you're going to need is some wild garlic, some potatoes, an onion and a stock cube. Chop your potatoes into small chunks. Watch this for a magic trick. Now chop up your onion. <laughs> now add boiling water. Until all your onion and potato are slightly submerged. Then chuck in a stock cube and bring it to a boil. Once you're boiling, turn it down to a lighter simmer and pop a lid on it so all your soup doesn't escape into the air. And let that simmer until it gets all nice and soft. It'll probably take about 15 minutes. Now it's all simmered and soft, we're going to add our wild garlic. We just want to add that in at the end for a couple of minutes so all that flavour infuses and it softens. So let's chop it up. So, just going to chuck this wild garlic in the soup. Give it a little stir. Let that simmer in for a couple of minutes. It's all simmered and soft, take it off the heat. Now you could eat it just like this if you want. We normally like our soups chunky, but we're gonna give this one a little bit of a blitz to really get that garlic flavor out and combined with the rest of the soup. Fresh homemade soup, still some chunks in it, but that's plenty good enough for me. Now, there's no exact ingredients for homemade soup, just chuck in as many potatoes and onions and wild garlic as you want. Let's check out our bread. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, there she is. Okay, now we're going to knead for another 100 presses. Add a little bit of oil to your bread tin and then smush it all around and this just stops your dough from sticking to the tin when it cooks. There we go. And then we're going to pop our dough into the tin. Lovely wild garlic dough. Ooh. You kind of just stretch it out so it fits the shape of your tin. And then flip over your bowl and we're going to leave that for half an hour to rise again. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. 
Let's see if she's ready. Ta -da! Okay, time to pop her in the oven for half an hour. Okay, let's see if she's ready. Ooh la la, wild garlic bread. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so you can tell if it's done by giving it a little tap. It sounds hollow, and that means it's ready. And there we have it. Ta-da! Lovely wild garlic soup mm. and yummy hot bread. Taste test time. Okay, right. Let's have a taste test. <coughs> woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> Get me. Okay. It's real good for you, this soup. This bread. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're so tired. <laughs> it's so dark outside. <laughs> Dinner is very late today. All that wading through that flood actually took a very long time. Yeah, it was. A, it's <laughs> been a long day, but it's been a good day, and yes. we've been rewarded with, with this amazing hearty soup, soup and bread. Mm. Now we're going to go have our dinner. Mm -hmm. So. As always, people, don't forget to do all the modern well things, such as like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Check out our book Check over our on awesome Amazon, book. Knowledge to Forage, but most where you'll find loads of recipes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but most importantly... Most importantly of all, take care of yourself. Peace.